Welcome everyone, this is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh. I'm reviewing the options for the calendar year for 2016. And the reason is I wanted to see the best trade of the year, the worst trade of the year, uh, or the worst call I made for the year, and the best call I made for the year. Um, as it turns out, Facebook was the worst call I made for the year in the first trade that I called. And, and yet it ended up going where I predicted it would and through the strike originally. But let's just go back to the call because I, I ended up taking this position and I also killed it with a half loss, <clears throat> which, which is a rule now that I have decided to implement for all options trades. And actually it's a really good rule because most of the trades I've called in 2016 for options have gone immediately into the money. Whether they were 50% return on investment or 100% return investment, or 300% return investment in the first 24 hours or 48 hours, I've realized now that my ability to be able to call these to go immediately profitable is, is, a, is a high, and therefore if they don't, something's wrong and it's a sign. Now, when did I call this? August 1st, <clears throat> there's, there's a lot to be learned from this. It didn't work and I'm gonna show you why. August 1st, I called this. I said FB strike calls 130, expiring August 19th. I didn't I didn't leave it till here, but I just want to show you. It did not get through that number. So after I called the train here, the stock dipped. The price of the option dropped since I bought it. It rallied back. I think it was profitable for like a little bit of one of the days in here, like a few hours. Like if you literally, you could have gotten out of it with a couple hundred bucks. And if you didn't, it, it, it never went anywhere. It dropped and dipped. I killed this the day I took the baba. What was the day that I took the baba? Because I just dumped it. The 11th. <clears throat> So I took it on the first and I just killed it. I killed it the day of the 11th and then I threw the rest of the position that I had because I, I didn't lose it in, in its entirety. Again, I lost half and I killed the rest of it and threw the money into the baba. That was a really great decision. It was, I didn't even think through the decision. I was like, screw this thing, baba's really good. I dumped it. And I don't really like to have two options trades on while I'm also day trading. I just think it's too much in my monitor. But anyways, make a long story short, I just threw it out. I dumped it. It was a great decision. The trade didn't go into work. But I will tell you that after the expiration, the stock rallied, blew up, blew over the number, blew over 130, ran up to 132. I did call a second trade in Facebook after I saw it would blow over the high of this gap up that happened on the earnings that failed but still continued higher and made a new brand out, new autumn high on this day and then continued higher. I saw it would do it, but I didn't do the second trade. I was in the BABA at that time, and so I didn't do it, but the second one works. So if you lost in the first one, you made one in the second one. But worst call of the year was this because it didn't go anywhere. It was never really up any amount of money that you could say, I want to take this out, which would be 50% and 100%. I know these sound like crazy numbers, people, but honestly, the option calls that I've made for this calendar year have been so incredibly profitable that people's expectations now that are signed up for the letter are very high. Someone could take a trade and risk a thousand bucks and be up $250, which is real money, if that's 25% you know, on the amount you risk and not get out. Because people's expectations now are that they're going to risk $1,000 and make $1,000 or way, way more. So I've kind of set the bar really high for myself for 2017. I'm okay with that. But I will tell you that this was the worst call I made this year. It continued. The second trade worked. I didn't do it. And what, what did I learn from this? What did I learn from this that I can take into the future? And actually, I learned for, for future calls I made because this was a couple months ago. After a stock gaps up on the earnings and fails, I didn't day trade this at all. I don't short bullish gap ups, certainly not once to brand new all-time highs, but I saw it would hit the 130. How long did it take? 
It took a little bit more than a month. It took about five weeks to get over that high. But what I learned from that is that the stock has to digest the sell-off. And that's what I, that's a mistake I made. I immediately thought it would full on rally back and go over the selling here because the stock was so strong and I was right. I was right, it, it did what I wanted it to do, but I didn't get the timing right. And with options, you have to. I mean, you know, there's no way about it. And that's, I'm very, very good at that. But, but this, I was so certain it would go to 130, but it, it had to digest the sell off from the gap up on the earnings that failed. And I just, you know, never again will I do this until after the digestion is clear. So the digestion happened, it took, it took a couple of weeks. And by the time the breakout bar happened here, you knew it was going to follow through, which it did. It didn't have much of a follow through, but you still would have made money going long here or here. But it was a quick trade later, which I called and people made money in, but I didn't do that one. I did this one and I killed it with a half loss. But, you know, I, 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 the big lesson here is that after something does a hard, red, full on gap up failure, sell off, even in all time highs, the stock will not immediately retrace. It needs time to digest the move, and no one can predict that, so you wait and you don't take a trade until it happens. So I learned a lot from this, and I won't make a mistake again about this, and I have not called a trade like this since then. But this was the worst call I made in the options letter for 2016. I did not take a full loss. I took a half loss. I threw the money into Bama, and it worked out good for me. Good review of the options trades for 2016. If you'd like to sign up for the options letter for 2017, email me at melissathestockswoosh.com. I have a sale going on to the end of the year. And, you know, I think for those of you that have been looking and trying to find a way to actually sign up for the class or save money for the class or don't who people who do not have money for a full on day trading account, the options letter is something that you could do. You just get the trade calls and you can you can risk as little as, as much as money as you want in them. And you don't have to have a day trading account to do so. Email me with Melissa at the stops stockswish.com for more information if you want to sign up for the letter. I think it's going to be a good year. I've reviewed the mistakes I made, like this one here for 2016, for 2017 to make better calls. I've also reviewed the very good calls I've made this year, which Baba was, like I said, the top one. And I think in, in next year's calendar year, I'm going to risk more in the ones that I have 100% conviction in, like Baba, and I will stay away from these that collapse uh, into the earnings. It's just, it, it, it's not that the stock won't get over the high. It did. It absolutely 100% did, but no one can predict the timing. And the one thing about options trades you got to get right is A, you got to get the direction right, and B, you got to get the timing. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com for more information.